I am Andre Jeek, cardistry master. Cardistry. Come on, Andre. Ha! Let's go. I'm gonna have some fun today. We're gonna talk about logos. Ah, I'm like Gambit. This is the, the 52 business card pickup. I wanna edit some logos, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have some fun. I've been asking on our Facebook group. If you're not part of that, you should definitely join the Instagraphics Pro Network. We've been talking about editing your logos. So I've been doing logos now for over 15 years. I drew logos in high school. I'm gonna drop the email down below where you can do your submissions. Make sure you put in there a vector logo or a high res logo. So I'm not editing like a little tiny little pixeled pixelated logo. I want to start with something fairly decent. So then I'm there um, and then just put your hashtag of your username for your Instagram or your Twitter, whatever you use or your Facebook so that we can find you and tag you and feature you in this video. So looking forward to jumping into this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll right into it. Today, we're going to have some fun and we're going to do a new series. I'm starting a new series. This is hopefully going to be at least a once a month, maybe even twice a month series we're going to do and we're going to call it Adrian Edits Logos. Cue the cool graphic for Adrian and its logos. Hopefully put that up on the screen, just something simple. But I wanted to make a series where I could come in personally for you guys that are watching my videos and help you critique your logos and make them even better than they already are. And so I put the word out there on our YouTube channel, on the posts, under the community. And I also put it out into our Facebook group and we got some submissions so far. Um, and one of them, I recognized their name right away and I really needed some help and some work, but there were some good things about it that I'm gonna point out as well. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the logo edits. All right, so let's do this. So I'm just opening this up here. What I'm gonna do is I already downloaded the logo and this logo is actually from our friend New Love. He has a really cool name, I love that name. And he's been a huge and loyal fan of ours, been commenting on our videos for a long time. Looks like this thing is pretty low res. So I'm gonna have to scale this thing up and that's kind of one of the issues of this is having to stretch it. But overall, because it was done probably in vector, it wasn't sent to us in vector, but it was done in vector, um, it's kind of gives me something to work with. So you can see here, what I do like is that it's in vector. That's one big thing I can tell that it's nice, clean, crisp uh, lines. Everything is really crisp. There's no pixelation, which is awesome. Uh, but the downside of this is there's just so much going on. It's really busy and I'm not sure really what the just imagine means and I had a hard time trying to figure out what the name was. So I see the T and the M and I'm like, is that trademark? I don't really understand what that means. And then I realized that threefold is supposed to be one word and that would start with a T and then media would be the M. So he's got the T and the M, but he's got the number three instead of the word three. So I'm kind of disconnected there and that's what I wanna really make an improvement on today with this logo design. And then he's kind of got this, uh, pizza shaped sliced kind of deal. Looks like there's two of the same shapes. Just one's just flipped the other way. Uh, but I'm not really sure how that fits with the three fold. The element that I do like, I'll tell you right now that I want to try to save and incorporate is this line here, because this does somehow convey the fold, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, but the orange color, orange and black are also really powerful colors. And so I just want to kind of take some of these elements and recreate the threefold media logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and walk you guys through this. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna change the font. The stroke that's around the font is making it kind of hard to read, especially when it's smaller and you're really gonna have a hard time reading that three and connecting the dots. So we're just gonna call it three, TH, look how tiny that is, threefold media. Let me go over to my characters. We'll size this up and that's the, but we'll add the R in there. There we go. Three, and if it's gonna be one word, so threefold and then media, we're gonna make it like that. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight it, I'm gonna center it, and then I need to pick a font that is somewhat similar to what he has, but isn't stroked. So let's go through here and look at something like this, like Clement, oh, let me select this first, there we go. And we're gonna scroll down here. So let's see here, this one's pretty nice. I kinda of like that. It's got a nice feel, nice flow to it for threefold media. It's pretty clean and it has kind of a similar look. And if we want to kind of keep the all caps feel, which I do like, we can go over here, highlight it, go over to character and just hit the double T's. It's going to give you all caps. That's pretty nice. Um, it's got a little bit too much styling, I think. So I'm going to try one more. So let's go back to character, see if we can find one more font that just maybe will fit that a little closer to what he has now. I have a few fonts in mind that I was thinking about. I haven't checked those out yet. Uh, just fonts that I've used that were more rounded over the years. And let me just go back up. I'm gonna clear all my filters, just see if I can pull that up here. There we go. 
and we'll just dive in here. So let's see here. So what I can do too, is I could probably just do a search. I can just type in round. There we go, so rounded, right? So there's a rounded font. Let's try to do that. I'm not gonna be able to make that any more bold, but there's a round font kind of like that has there. And we're gonna bring this down. And you'll remember I talked about this in one of my last videos, is we wanna make sure that we get a logo that looks great in black and white. So here's threefold media. Okay, we're gonna drop that down. I'm gonna make this just a little smaller because it's kind of big. And then we need to create a logo mark. I'm wondering if we need a logo mark, if we can use maybe the three pieces of the E to make that fold. I'm not sure if that's what we can do is we can kind of create the three fold there. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and play around with some different ideas. So this is this shape that he has now. I'm gonna kind of try to incorporate this to a certain extent. Bring this up in here. Let's bring that there. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag this up this way. There we go, boom. So that's that shape, close enough. I can just drag it a little bit more if I really wanted to and bring it there. That's pretty darn close. So I can drag this now. There you go, I'm gonna bring this over here. So that's one element. And then I did really like, like I said in the beginning of this, I really did like the slash. It kind of gave that fold feel. So that's probably what he was trying to go for here. So I think he did a great job on that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that shape and bring this over here. So I'm not sure what the point of the eight ball, cause that's what that is. That's an eight ball, right? With a three inside of it. I'm not sure how he got that connection, but I definitely want to try to incorporate that somehow. So we're going to go ahead and make a circle as well. And just see if we can incorporate that. That might work. Okay. And then we'll bring this up. And I think it's really smart to pick one. So there's just, what I'm seeing here, my overall just kind of opinion of this thing right off the bat, is I think that there's just too many concepts he's trying to accomplish inside of one design. And the key here is remember, simple, memorable, and applicable. So I'm guessing this is probably for his own business and he's a designer as well, just like you guys. And so we wanna create him something that really reflects that. And so being able to pick one, one element that is applicable to what he's doing for a living, I don't know what the threefold means, if it has anything to do with ministry, because there's threefold ministry, you know, Holy Spirit, God and, um, and Jesus. That's typically what people talk about when they talk about threefold. I don't know if it has any religious affiliation, but I'm gonna keep kind of away from that, but I wanna incorporate some of that threefold kind of idea and concept into this. So he's got the TM, threefold media. Let's go ahead and add in another element. So I wanna grab this guy here. I'm gonna flip it like he did. So he's got the other design on the other side. And then see how we can kind of maybe add the third fold or the third element to it. So let's just grab here, we'll do a reflect. Let's see if we can do something like this. I'll flip it, maybe put it over here. I wanna see if I can balance out and find a really cool concept to balance the whole thing out. So that's not gonna work. Let's try to flip this this way. Let's see if this can work. Not really working there either. It makes it kind of challenging. This is such a unique and kind of odd shape that I'm, I'm having a hard time um, coming up with what the concept should be for this. So let me bring this up here. And maybe it's just the angle, right? So if I take this and I transform it and I hit reflect, all right, I can pull this up in here. Just drag this over threefold. See, this is just not, this is not flowing for me. I'm not really liking this uh, concept too much now. That's kind of going somewhere but we really need the three folds. So how do we get that? So this line in the middle kind of conveys a fold. Even if I deleted that, it would kind of still be there. Um, what I like to do a lot, and we'll just go to Google real quick. Forgive me for all my tabs, but I like to get inspiration. So let's just go three fold and type in and see what comes up. What's funny about this is my video guy, his lady works for a company called three fold. So three fold logo. We'll just go in here and get some inspiration. So you get a couple different concepts. There's three and the fold. I like that little fold there. Actually, I think that might give me my idea almost right there. So look at, these are all little folds and shadows, three-fold marketing, right? There's a lot of three-folds, obviously. They're not the only one. Here's another one, three-fold with the triangles. That, oh, the triangles intersecting. Look at that. That's actually a good concept. So let me grab that real quick and see if we can play with that idea. So let's go back to what we had just a few minutes ago and see if we could intertwine. Let me just get rid of that, there we go. And if we can intertwine those two together. So if we could somehow bring these in here, I'm gonna take this out. 
I'd have to tra change the transparency. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the transparency on this. So we'll go over to our transparency. If I could just find it, let's go to view, down here at the bottom, transparency. So that tab wasn't even open. I'm gonna hit, let's see here, lighten maybe, or we'll go overlay. Maybe we need to go screen. None of these really seem to be, oh, that's because that's on top of it. So lighten, I'll just turn down the opacity. So I'll just go here to 50, there we go. And I'm gonna bring this back up. There we go, and I'll bring this down a little bit. So now we kind of have, we're playing with something here. Three fold, let me move this out of the way. This is starting to get kind of unique. I like that. What I want to do is I'm going to flip this. So, cause I like, I really like balance. I'm all about balance. So if I can go a horizontal flip here, there we go. Ooh, I'm seeing something form. Can you see kind of a bow tie looking deal here? This guy is a super cool professional. Um, and I would love to kind of give him that prestige. Hey, let me flip this over here. I think it needs to be more this way. There we go. And then we could take the three and the F, the T and the F if we really wanted to. And we could go T here. And I can go over here. I can duplicate this. And I'm gonna take the M, boom, right here. And so we'll click and we'll drag that in there. And we'll grab this in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just make that white. We're gonna make that white as well. We put that above it, there we go. So now we got a kind of a, a nice little shape forming in here. Um, one of the other things, I just really want to incorporate that circle because I feel like that was an important piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm just holding on Alt or Option to copy it. And you can see here, once I kind of aligned that, if I put this behind it, there's already something kind of happening. So let me reverse that with the circle. We're just gonna go like eight here. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger, right? There's kind of a three-fold thing going on in here. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I like to duplicate concepts. I'm gonna grab this. And let's see if we can take this concept and put the T, whoops, the T, if I can get that T. There we go. Take that down, take, let's like that. We're gonna grab this T, whoops. And we're gonna drag this up here gonna make it the right color. So we're gonna make this black. I'm gonna drag this up top. And I'm gonna drag this right below it. We're gonna pull this over here. Let's make this black as, as well. Let's see, and we're gonna pull this up just a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna bring this in, one, two. Bring this in, one, two. I wanna give them some good options to choose from. But I think that the overlap between the two is kind of a really neat concept. Let me bring this up, I'm gonna center it. There we go. Bring this down. And then I should be able to make this circle smaller. Let me do this here. Whoops, wrong one. There it is. Just grab this circle and make it a little smaller. That's making it kind of tight. It's a tight fit. Let me see if I can bring this up just a little bit more. Let's see here. Make this a little smaller. There we go. Just give it some space. So there's kind of a three-fold media. It definitely says three, you can kind of see the folds here, the intersecting kind of sections, and there's a diamond. Diamonds are great shapes. Uh, I'm just wondering if I were to flip this and then turn everything on the inside to white, what would that look like? That's kind of cool. It doesn't have that eight ball look, but let's go ahead and play around with that concept real quick. So let's take this eight ball concept that he had down here, which is actually a three inside of that. I'm gonna copy this circle do one that's like half the size, eyedropper, make it white. I'm gonna find it in the same spot. See, and then what I would like to do, let me try this, duplicate it, and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Whoops, make this a little bit bigger. Grab it, there we go. Make that bigger, like that. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this behind here, and I'm gonna do the same kind of transparency thing I did the other one, boom. See that, now we're cooking with peanut oil. All right, so I wanna actually, Forgive my terrible jokes. Um, so I'm gonna grab this T. I'm gonna put this here. We're gonna make this the right color so you can actually see it. And then you're gonna grab this and try to do something with this as well. So we're gonna grab that and we're gonna make that black. And like that. And we're gonna make this T or this M just a little smaller. Shift Command O. 
there we go, some good spacing there. What I can do, let's see if I can pull this up. That's kind of cool. So now we have this concept. So you got three pieces, three elements now within this one design that I think really gives it that fold kind of concept um, that I think could work really well. Let me see what happens when I make this a little bit bigger. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. So we'll just keep it right there. And then what we'll do is we'll duplicate this. We'll bring this down. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring this over a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go bring this over. So threefold is one word, which is great. Let's see here. So we're gonna keep that just as it is. I'm gonna bring this one in a little bit more. I wanna see which one's gonna look better. I just wanted to do a couple concepts real quick here to kind of show you what we're working with in comparison to what he's currently got. So I'm gonna do the black and white and then I wanna make a duplicate and we'll add some orange to it. But I wanna just kind of start simple. Here we go. I'm gonna group all this together. So command, oops, command G on this one. And then when I click these two, I can hit align. Whoops, this way, align right here. There we go. So it's top and bottom align. I'm gonna do the same thing. Command G, I'm gonna group those together and then align them. There we go. And then I'm gonna make this font hopefully the same size as the other one. So let me go back to character real quick. Shrink that down just a little bit more. All right. There we go, three fold media. Now these are black and white versions, obviously. I'd love to do some color in it and to see how that looks. Okay, so I wanna do one more concept. I'm gonna take this, this concept is probably my favorite one so far. And I wanna to try to see if I can make it even better. So let me just take this, I love this initial, let me ungroup it real quick here. There we go. I wanna take this initial concept without the TM and see if I can somehow change this. Cause I feel like this does have kind of a three fold in it, but I want to do something with more of a kind of a paper. So let me find my shapes real quick here. All right, so I want to take my rectangle tool. There it is. Got lost here for a second. Here we go. And I'm going to shape this out just like he has in his current one. We're going to use that shape without the arc. I do think it would be cool to use some of the arc. So I'm going to double click here. I can just round because I like some of the roundedness that he did. There we go. I like that concept. So I can take this and I can one, two, and oops, oh, and three. There we go. And then I'll do the same effect that I did with these other guys. So I'll take this one and make this gray. There we go. I'll take this one and I'll make it white. There we go. So I'm gonna bring this up. Ooh, I like that. I wanna bring this up this way. Threefold. I can use this, whoops, I can use this concept here. And if I could make this have a stroke, add a stroke to that. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing here. There we go. There we go, whoops, there we go. Bringing this out a little bit more. Let me zoom this in, there we go. So we have that transparency on that one. Let's bring this out here. All right, now let's take the T and the M and see what we can do with that. So let's grab this three full. Bring this up to the top. Whoa, let's just bring this up. Let's see here. Oops. I kind of liked it the same height there, so let me bring that back in. There we go. I was trying to find a way that we could really emphasize the threefold. I really like the concept behind that. Let's see, T down here, M down here. Don't really think that works. I really think it works really well right here. Uh, what we'll do is I'm actually gonna take the direct selection tool. First, let me move these, the T and the M down. I'll have an idea. 
So we're gonna bring that down. Grab this guy, whoops. Grab that guy right there. And we're just gonna shrink this all the way down. There we go. There we go. Let's bring that down now. So he still kind of has this arc shape. I'm trying to want, I'm wondering if we were to turn this thing in some other direction, if we could get a cooler look out of this. That kind of looks cool. I think the alignment of that is a lot better than the other direction there. So it just takes a little plane with it. I've, I feel like I got kind of a cool concept going on here. The interior now, because the transparency of this thing is a little off, so I need to reduce the transparency of this as well, or change the stroke on this as well. Or maybe just take the stroke off. That might just be the best thing. Yeah, see, there we go. Taking the stroke off actually helped a lot. If I was gonna have a stroke on here, I should probably have a white one. And it would need to be on the outside. So let's see here. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing here. I gotta give it that, that fold look though. So I wanna keep that. I'm wondering if I should keep this in here. There we go. Something off is so off about it. Let's pull this out here. Let's grab this. Go ahead and grab Command R at the ruler tool. Bring this down to here. I just want to make sure I get this right. There we go. Nice and aligned. Now I got the T and the M in here. Yeah, I just I like it aligned a lot better. So what I want to do now is I think I'm going to make this thin. Thinner, there we go. Bring this back in a little bit more. And then I'll bring this here. And then I'm gonna actually bring out this entire shape. There we go. Delete my guide view. There we go. Uh, where's my guides? There's, there we go. Unlock guides. Now I can take these and drag them back up. There we go. Oh, let me just delete it. There we go. So I'm gonna bring all of these up into the canvas. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of color and wrap this baby up. So three fold media. Um, on this concept, I'd like to give him a little bit of choice and variation. I'm gonna take this and drop this down. There we go, like that. I'm gonna left justify it. Bring that over. And then I want to take the word media and make it bigger. So I'm going to go back over to character after I highlighted it. Whoops, bring that down a little bit more. Boom. Three fold media. And then I'm going to grab the three fold and make that a little bit smaller. And then if we made it orange, let's see here. So I'm gonna give him, like I said, I'm gonna give him some variation. So we're just gonna go three, fold, and then we go back in here, media. Let me turn off the caps on this. Boom, three fold media. Yeah, that's not really the right font. So let's just play with the fonts for a second. So let's just use this one. There we go. And I'm gonna go Mont. I like this font a lot. Let's see here, alternatives. Oh, black. That's a nice one. Let me bring this over just a little bit. Left justify it. Bring this in. There we go. So three-fold media. It has kind of a similar style to it as well. I can bring this up. And these are the three. Now I need to hit alter option to bring this guy up so that it's nice and balanced. Three-fold media. Now let's add some color. There we go. 
So there's our logos in color. I'll go ahead and group these, Command G or Control G, Command G, Command G, and then we're gonna go ahead and center these. So those are my three concepts for three-fold media. Uh, it's a lot different of a look. I feel like it's less confusing. I got rid of the three, the number three inside of there. Um, I didn't really feel like it fit that well. If I was going to do something with the three, I maybe would put the three next to it in some sort of big letter and do something with it uh, individually. But I felt like it was kind of confusing uh, taking away from it. So let's just see here. Yeah, I think we either need to pick a three or just stick with the T. So those are the concepts I want to stick with for you guys today. Hopefully this was really helpful. You can kind of see my mind and how it works with logo designs. And this is honestly really, really fast version. I didn't take a ton of time to do this and I know my team is gonna cut this down, but I really wanted to show you just kind of how my mind works and how I come up with logo concepts. Um, simplifying it. That's really my biggest thing is simplifying the concept down to one core idea rather than having multiple ideas. The curves, the outlines, the three, the eight ball, and all the slogans. You notice I didn't put the slogan in there doesn't need to be in there. I just wanted to simplify the concept overall and just make it more memorable. I did like what he did here on the fold. I do think that there's a clear indicator of a fold there. I could probably do something like that on here, but for today's purpose, I just want to keep it simple and wanted to make a video showing you editing a tutorial. So submit your logos if you want me to edit one of yours, see what we can do. And I'm sure each one, each one of these will get better and better. So thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And as always, keep looking up.